Good afternoon, everyone. Um, happy Friday to us all. We're nearly at the weekend. And uh, I am Luter FM, and I'm currently managing Rank Rovers, people that don't know. Um, thank you to everyone so far who's been following me. If anybody's followed me from the beginning, please put a, a comment in the comment section because I would appreciate it. But for those who have just floated around as well, I do appreciate you as well. Hopefully you've been entertained on when you've been watching it. Um, we just finished the season in the last episode and we finished third in the league. We've qualified for the Europa Conference League and um, we got 63 points for the season, which is pretty good. Um, but we need to do better next season. We need to turn some of these draws into wins. We need to lose less. Um, the very little fine margins... But the aim is to try, in the next season or two, the aim is to try and get second place. So, and then obviously in the, the next couple of years after that, we need to win the Scottish Premiership. This this save doesn't end until I, I win the Scottish Premiership at least. Um, obviously, ideally, I want to try and win the Champions League as well. But, you know, we've got to be realistic, haven't we? Um, so, but the, 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 the main aim is to win the Scottish Premiership. And it's not going to be easy. Now... Uh, in my inbox items, when I opened up and I click continue, I was given 45 million for the season, which is a hell of a lot of money. But what I've done is I've shifted it most of it over to the wage budget because I don't want to be buying like wonder kids often, unless they're Scottish wonder kids. Um, the only exception is wonder kids is if they're Scottish wonder kids. Um, but yeah, so we've got 85 million in the bank as well. We're probably gonna have more than that. Um, yeah, we're aiming, we're projected to be up to 145 million. So we're doing well. Um, oh, I've got all these clauses to sell as well. So the aim of this uh, this episode is to get the transfer window part of it done as quickly as possible, really. Get pre-season done. So this episode, next episode, are probably going to be quite boring for people if they just want to enjoy me playing the matches because... We've got to get through pre-season. So it's going to be like a, a live episode where I'll just go through this as we are. But yeah, I'll try and bring in some good players. World reputation players, hopefully. Um, you know, another Paul Pogba maybe. But we've got to wait until like the 1st of July to see who comes available in the free transfer market. Um, it's nice to see the board are very happy. So they want us to play attacking football, possession football, entertaining football, high tempo, pressing football. Uh, they want us to sign um, high reputation players, which they are very happy with. <clears throat> oh, they're saying Yuan Quarones in particular is seen as a high profile sign. Anyway, that's good then. Make the most of set pieces, work within the wage budget. Um, maximum, no, sorry, minimum of two year contracts for first team players. And then the end of next season, they want us to reach the Europa Conference League proper and qualify for the Europa Conference League basic, which is basically the same, isn't it? Near enough. Um, and then they want us in the next the season after that, they want us to become the best of the rest. So basically, they want us to basically be a top four team by that point consistently and then they the season after that they want us to challenge in the domestic cup competition and continue to be recognized as best of the rest so you know the expectations aren't too aren't too bad like I, they are achievable and i think i could surpass them hopefully um no not title challenge i don't want to do that uh no we're not going to win the next year yeah that one do this the usual responses that we give in a press conference there we go most people are happy after that um, I've also decided to put Maldini on the transfer list so I just think we need somebody better than him I think the fact that that Deli Ali and 
Paul Pogba have been playing better in that position than he has said tells me everything I need to know. Next season's been increased to twenty four million. Well, okay, that's fine. Um oh, bloody hell. I wasn't expecting that. So I asked I requested for the wage budget to be increased, knowing that the, the budgets would have been um sorted out for next season the a couple of days afterwards. So they usually reject these because they say that the board's already set their budgets, but they've um, they've surprisingly adjusted it. We've got even more spendsies now. If I just if I wanted to, I could adjust this and have sixty eight million to spend, but I'm not going to do that. Like I said, this ain't. Like, it would make the save boring if I was buying loads of wonder kids. Um, it would get bored very quickly, and I get bored of them saves. So, if anything, I want to produce young players from the youth academy um like gary Rui, for instance i'm more attached to him because he's a homegrown local lad played for the youth team than buying wonder kids unless they're scottish wonder kids because obviously the aim is to try and win a champions league with all scottish players is what i want to do Uh, got a new contract, that's good. Let's have a look at the jobs available. Not that I'm going anywhere. Hibs, Kilmarnock, oh, my offline save. Motherwell, Troyes, Schalk, Notts County, Lens, Herfa, <coughs> Blackpool. If this was going to be a journeyman save, I would go to Blackpool from Rafe Rovers. I feel like I wouldn't want to go for a big team. I'd want to go for a team like Blackpool. Not that Blackpool's not a... I don't mean that as a disrespectful way to Blackpool fans, but you know what I mean. And then the aim is to get Blackpool in the Premiership again and try and keep them up if I wanted to go down that route. Plus, I like the kits, to be honest. I like the club colours. Nice little... Uh, light orange. But no, I'm not going anywhere, don't worry. Unless I get sat. Then I'll reassess things. I think if I got sat though, I'm not going to do what I did last time where I retired the manager and then come back. Um, and I don't think I'd want to carry on the save at that point. I think I'd just start a brand new save. Right then. Sign of the season was probably Rod Rod Stewart. I need to call him Rod Stewart then. <laughs> Rod Stewart. Um, let's see. Pogba was a good signing because he sold us a quite a lot of shirts by the looks of it. I mean, I mean, I say quite a lot, only three thousand, but in my eyes, quite a lot. Uh, Maldini is was that? and then, then you got Stewart, Bowler, and Delhi. Team of the year, team of the season, Dewhurst in goal, Rui is right back, Suta and Welsh uh, centre back partnership, Diara's left back, Aziz and Hackney in midfield, Bowler in the, on the right, Deli Alley in the middle, Dar Arigo on the left, and Stewart up front. So, uh, Hoyland played well though, to be honest. I'll have a look at Hoyland actually, I'll show you. I feel like he's. Uh, is he on here? There he is. I mean, he didn't do as well as he has been do like he has done before. Then again, he hasn't really. I mean, here it says here, and he got ten goals. He didn't get just ten goals. He got more. I think he got more than ten goals. Um, I don't know why that says zero because uh, he did play games for us. That must be a bug or something. But yeah, in my Kilmarnock save, he's absolutely smashing it in the Scottish Premiership. Um, Got a lot of big European teams after him. So, for some reason, this one, he's kind of just... But he did pick it up a little bit. He did get some good goals when he when he played in the end. So, and Ross Stewart can't play forever because he's getting on a bit. So, you got quite a few decent European sides after him there. Not like great European sides, but decent enough for him. Um, but I don't want to sell him. 
if I'm honest with you. Why can't I offer him a new contract? That's weird. Oh, hold on, have I sold him? No, I haven't sold him. Why can't I offer him a new contract? Oh, he's already agreed. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, we signed him to a new contract last episode. I've just realised, I just remembered. Um, sorry, sometimes I get a brain fart. What was that? Jamie Vardy. Oh, I thought you could. I thought we could. I was going to sign Jamie Vardy then as a player, but he's uh, he's retired. So I win the uh, the players manager of the year, which is good. Ah, there we go. This is what's going on. Appeal. Oh God, will we lose bloody Hoyland because of the work permit issue? Hopefully not. Right, got some new deals here in place. Competition prize money. Um, we doubled it, so that's amazing. Because obviously I've got that file, haven't I, that gives you more money, the, the better you do. So yeah, um, 1.3 in merchandise. Yep, so obviously Pogba as well. was. So he's a good choice. Petrovic, so slightly different to the season review that we saw earlier. Hackney, who is going back. Because there's no way we can afford his wage. I'm not well. I mean, even if I can, I'm not paying eighty to a hundred k a week for a player in the Scottish Premiership. That's just not going to happen. It's not sustainable. Even though I've got loads of money, I'm not. The the reason why I, I use this file for this one, one because I forgot I had it on there, but two is because of the fact um, that I wanted it to have the money to. Build a new stadium, which I'm doing, which we should get at the end of next season, and build facilities and coaching. So it was more to do with that um, to get the infrastructure right, so um, than actually buying world class players. But yeah, Gary Ruri, Scottish players, young player of the year. That's good. Ah, uh, second place in the manager of the season, but I got the players manager of the season, so that's that's more important to me. No, I'm not taking off the transfer list. Right, let's see, see how we go. Hope you've all got some exciting weekend plans ahead. I am going to a Brazilian steakhouse buffet or you can eat buffet on Saturday so I'm really looking forward to that I've always wanted to try Brazilian steak I've heard nothing but good things about it so I'm looking forward to it um so yeah other than, and then I think that's it other than that so it'd be nice relaxing oh my god that's a terrible offer for Maldini we're not accepting that if, it, if we're only going to get offers like that I'm just going to take them off the transfer list I'll offer him a new contract now just to take the mick. Yeah, he won't sign a new contract yet, but he will eventually. Yeah. We're not going to get any decent offers for him. Uh, we'll get rid of Nisbet because I think, I think I don't think he ever played for us, did he? No, he never played for us. We signed him last season because I thought we'd better get some decent strikers in. It's Hoyland, and he never played. This is Ross Stewart. So hopefully we can get a little bit of a decent fee for him. How much do we sign him for? Five point seven five million. I must have been mad. Such a waste of money. Uh, we'll get rid of him because he's moaning. I don't like moany players. Plus he's barely played anyway, it's no big loss.
All right, I had a few decent offers for a Campbell. Would have liked a next. Would have liked a bit of profit on the next transfer, but it ain't gonna happen. When's his contract expiring? Oh, is his contract expiring very soon? So we could probably get him on a decent free transfer. Let's sign Diara on a freebie. Uh, that's a terrible offer for Nesbit. Nesbit, sorry. No. I hate getting low board on this game. It really drives me mad. Because it doesn't work the other way. The other way around. If you try and low ball the AI team, they tell you where to go. So why is it okay for them to do it to me? We've got quite a few better teams than us offering him a contract. I don't think he's going to stay with us. We've got Longella though. So he's pretty good. And we can look at maybe the free transfer market for uh, uh, another left back. Oh, there we go. It's been granted a British work permit, so that's good. So we've tied him to a new contract. Keeping him here. Let's have a look at the contract. Is there a minimum? No, there's no minimum fee release clause as well, which is good. Um, I have a Hoyland in my Kilmarnock save, and annoyingly, um, every time I offer him a new contract, he wants a minimum fee clause for teams in Europe. So, you know, even though he's valued at like 12 million, I've got like an 8 million minimum fee release clause, which is annoying. Right. If I've got to keep this bit, I've got to keep this bit. I'm not getting messed about when it comes to selling players. They just they, they'll go for what I think was. They'll go for round about the value of what I think they should go for. They're not going to go for a pittance, um, and that's that. But yeah, we signed. Oyano, who impressed me. Um, so he's my backup right back now. And then Petrovic, who also did well when he was here on loan. He is coming. Uh, you can sod off, Rangers. You're not signing my... Oh, for God's sake. How long have we got Dewurst on contract for? Ah, oh, that's fine. Three years. He's not going anywhere. Has he got a minimum fee? No, that's fine. We're not selling him to our rivals. I don't mind selling players that I know that aren't very good to my rivals or any other Scottish team, but my best players, they ain't going anywhere. I was really happy when we signed Dewurst. I couldn't believe how like how how lucky we were to get him in because he's such a good goalkeeper. Uh, Nathan Ferguson's gone. Right, let's get rid of Redmond. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of him. Uh, sign him a new contract. I think he plays for he in real life. Oh, Neil, yeah. Um, if anybody wants like an interesting say in France, somebody recommended Neil after the winter update come out, and they've got a hell of a lot of good, young, talented young players there. So if you want to do an interesting save in France, uh, Neil is definitely the team to be. I'm definitely going to give Neil a try at some point. Um, actually, I might do a save with Neil if... I somehow get sacked in my Rafe Rovers journey, but other than that, I might have Neil as one of my saves that I do for YouTube on FM25. So they're definitely a team I wouldn't mind doing at some point. Uh, wouldn't mind managing at some point, sorry. Um, I feel like he can be a good backup. Then again, I've just bloody signed uh, uh, another right back. And I, 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 I but I think we definitely need to keep him here. We'll promote him to the senior team. 
We'll change happiness. We'll change it to fringe player. Yeah, so he signed a new contract. That's good. Right. Another talented young player. See, we've got some good young players coming. Why is he unhappy? Why are you unhappy? Unhappy at the promise made to convince him to renew his contract. Well, I'm trying to sign you to a new contract. And now you won't let me do it. Right, let's try and see if that will... Uh, no. Oh, we might end up losing him on a freebie at some point then. No, he's got two years left. Hopefully we can sort him out in the meantime. Send him out on loan. Right, Andrew Stewart, another good, talented young player. Send him out on loan. Uh, we could do is signing you a new contract, I think. He did well on loan last season, um, but I just don't think he's going to get any first team football at the moment. Maybe if I sell Hoyland, he might come in as backup for Ross Stewart or something. Uh, does he need it? Yeah, he probably needs a new contract. Right. He's doing well. Local lad as well, I think. I think he's originally from Rafer. No, he's not actually. He's from St. Mirren, any, I think. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, St. Mirren. I thought for some reason. Yeah, we signed him, but we never played him yet. He's 23. I think if it's uh, it's going to happen, it's going to happen now. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, how did he do? He did he did well on loan last season? No, not particularly. I think I'm going to sell him. When's his contract expire? Yeah, I think it's time to sell him. He's, he's just not going to get first team football here. But what I'm going to do is going to insist on 30% profit on the next transfer. So if he does work out, we will make some money on him, hopefully. Uh, another local lad. That lovely blonde egg looks like a looks like a young David Beckham. His contract's expiring soon, so don't need to worry about him. Let's just get rid of him. We're not going to get any money on him. Hopefully his attitude's changed a bit now and he's not moaning all the time. Yeah, he did alright last season on loan. Um... What do I do with him? Do I send him out on loan? Yeah, I'll send him out on loan again, I think. Ah, saying that though. Hmm. No, I won't. I'm going to promote him to the first team because I think we're losing. Because we, we might not get Hackney in, so he'd be a good replacement for Hackney. So we'll change his fringe player. There we go. Right. Uh, another youth prospect. Tie him down to a new contract. Uh, he had a massive injury last season, which was a shame. Because I think it's a shame because I think originally I think I thought he was going to do well, but I think his progress has been stalled now. Hopefully, if I could send him out on loan, um, he can get some first team football and get a little bit better. Right. So hopefully nobody's finding this too boring, this side of things. It's not the most entertaining part of the game. Especially when you have to keep going back and clicking on the same player. Uh, he's not good enough, so we'll look to sell him. Uh, 
you and Brennan. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping to get around that then. Right. Uh, another good prospect for the future. Might have another Gary Rui in this player here. Be nice to have like a team of youth prospects in the first team eventually. But then again, I want to also have high rep players as well. So I don't think it'll be a complete team of youth prospects just yet. Then again, the older players will end up retiring eventually. So I will have to maybe uh, I will have to maybe eventually have to rely on the youth prospects just because there's nobody else out there. So we're getting we got quite a lot though, we're doing quite well. Like you think, well, I've just gone through here now. There's a hell of a lot of talent coming through. Which shows that it was a good idea upgrading all the facilities and stuff like that. Because it does make sense for the long term future of the club, because you kind of just want to consistently just be bringing your players through from your youth academy so you don't have to spend loads of money on transfers yeah Hackney's gone his contract expires oh they've signed him a new contract the bookers I swear that was 2000 he must have only just signed a new contract oh well yeah so Lennon Miller will have to get promoted uh, hopefully we can sign Diara though Right, you you play Babbage, got the youth player of the month, that's good. Hopefully you can get some experience in the Scottish Premiership team next season. Um I think actually I think Queen's Park were are a Scottish Premiership team. Uh let me just scout all of these in case there's anybody worth oh, I've just seen somebody I'm definitely gonna sign. Lawrence Shackland. Not that he's gonna play much. Cameron Devlin. He'd be a good centre back option. Uh, who else? Most of these are quite old. Ryan Manning, maybe. Who he used to play for? Hibbs. Probably a good option as left back in case Diara doesn't turn up and doesn't agree to come to us. We'll just scout the rest. I think that's it. Maybe Bacchus. Now we'll scout him. We'll just see first. Uh, Paul Pogba will sign you a new contract. There we go. We've got Pogba for three years. Uh, we'll get Suter a new contract. Ross Stewart a new contract. No, Nesbitt, you'll go in. Yeah, Penrose. Oh, what's wrong with you? Uh, we'll take him off the, the loan and transfer list. He did play quite a bit last season, didn't he? I know he didn't. He only played five games. Actually, no. What am I doing? I'm just going to get rid of him. Must have been very confused. I just took him off the trans list and put him back on. He's probably getting a complex right now as we speak. Oberfemi. Yeah, I'll definitely sign you a new contract. You know he didn't play much. He had a very impressive start of the season last season in the um, Premier Cup. He was our top goal scorer for half the season and he barely played. But um, yeah, he's just. I think he's just a backup option. Rios will definitely sign a new, new contract. You are my Jordan Henderson. You don't do much, but what you do is you. Do, what you don't do much, but what you do is uh, you do. You do very well. Uh, Brin's a good backup. So is Drasiet. We'll just tie them into new contracts. 
How did Hudden do on loan? Uh, not particularly well. He only played one game. So we'll look to get rid of him. Uh, we'll just terminate your contract. Uh, yep, we'll get rid of you as well. Didn't work out for you, Carl Joseph. Nothing personal, but we can't. We gotta. We gotta get this squad down a bit. To be honest, there's a hell of a lot of players we've got here. Already offered these new contracts. Connor Campbell, no, not good enough. Uh, all right, let's keep scrolling down. Craig Fisher, sign you new contract. Andrew Reid, no, not good enough. Yeah, that's it. That's that done. Leave the staff for now. Uh, Paul Jolly. Oh, he's got such a lovely name. Paul Jolly. I don't need any right backs. Which is a shame because if you played in any other position, I'd sign you just because of your lovely name. He's even got, look, I mean, he doesn't, doesn't have a jolly face on him, though. He's not very smiley in that photo. If your name's Paul Jolly, you'd want a more jolly looking face, wouldn't you? Right, Alan Campbell's out. I'll have a look who he's gone to in a second. Right. So he's going to Aberdeen. I don't mind that. I don't mind strengthening Aberdeen because he's not he's not really doing it. See, that's a rubbish offer. That is worse than the other offer we had. Ah, uh, his value's gone down now. That's why. Right, so what I'm going to do... Offer him out. I know I'm going to lose a lot of money on him, which is really annoying. But these things happen, you just gotta get on with it. Dust yourself off. Right, we've had some rubbish offers for Nesbit with no transfer calls added, so uh We insist on that. No, I think this is going to happen with every single one of these. Uh... Oh, okay. There you go. We'll get something for him. I know it ain't much, but these are definitely not going to be able to offer us what we want. Uh, let's push it a little bit more. Oh, okay. I'm surprised. See, so they're all got the same tactic now. Haggle me down. So I'll just do that. There you go. We'll haggle them up. What we'll do, we'll push it to nine nine hundred now. There you go. So in the end, we wanted a million. We just reject that one, reject that one, and we'll leave them two offers on the plate. And hopefully, you'll accept one of them. No more luck, you'll probably reject both of them.
Ah, Diara. You've broken me heart, mate. Ah. Right, so we need to be on the lookout for a left back. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, hold on, is he a left back? I hope he's not a right back. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, I forgot I went for him because I didn't think we'd be able to sign. So that's good. So we've got Manning and Longello as our left back options this season coming up. It's not bad at all. I don't mind that. Like we can do better than that, so we'll wait a bit, see what else they come up with. I do, I think, in five more minutes, I will end this episode and we'll just continue the next episode. Uh, I just I just I, the only reason I went for him is because I saw how many goals he got last season and you know sixteen goals in the the Belgian Pro Leagues nothing to you know I mean as in like it's really good so who else is going for him maybe sent enter maybe Elch so we might end up getting a bargain here um, is he better than what we got only time will tell. Right, we'll just offer him out on a on a freebie. Offer out some of his wage, ten k. Uh, put him on the unwanted list as well. Nobody wants to. Have we got any affiliate clubs we can move him to? We have. We'll try that. I don't think he'll go there though. Nah, nobody wants him either. Send him out on loan, I think. A lot of our youth players haven't got any destinations. Uh, development, move to affiliate. We'll try Bookie for him. Actually, I don't think there's any point. I don't think any of them are going to accept it because the, the the teams are too low down. So we'll just leave it. Right. Appeal, appeal them. Appeal that. Oh, I'll be good if Popper can't stay with us. So he wants to be a regular start. So he might end up being our main striker next season. Right. Uh, let's try offer him out again. Let's offer. No, wrong one. Let's offer out some of his wage. Let's offer him out for hundred k. Better than nothing. We'll release. Oh, we can't release him. Oh, he's still alone. That's why. Uh, is Josh Campbell on loan? Yep. Is Connor Campbell on loan? Yep. No, he's not. And just release you. Rui set for Real Betis. That's not good. It's got 14 million. Shall I offer him? Shall I see if I can offer him a new contract? I can. I'm not doing that though. Right. Uh. No, that's less than the no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. No. So if he does go, he's going for fourteen million. Sign Shanklin. I don't know why I signed him now, because he's never gonna play. But 
we can we can always sell him and make a little bit of money on him eventually. I keep saying we're chasing him, but we ain't. Is he any good? He is a good player. So it only makes sense to sign him. Right, Ross Stewart signed a new contract. That's good. Hal Joseph's gone back to Blackpool. Uh, hmm, how many games did he play for Rangers last season? He, he was a regular for Rangers last season. So it would make sense. And he'd be good. Experience. I said I said Devlin could be centre back cover earlier. A good I said a good centre back option. He's a defensive midfielder, so just ignore me. I'm thinking I'm thinking of another Devlin. I think he plays for Aberdeen. So Rios signs a new contract, that's good. Alfie Beveridge is going to Kilmarnock. Would have liked him to have Scottish Premiership football, but at least at Kilmarnock in the Scottish Championship, he's probably going to do well because they're probably going to go back up. So hopefully he can get a few goals and do and develop and become a better player. Uh, we've signed Cameron Devlin. Good defensive midfield option to have. Oh, we've got all these players coming as well. Coming in. Uh, Sylvester Jasper. Uh, we could always do with some good options on the wing. Not paying that much for him, though. Uh. <laughs> oh, me. Cameron Bruce. He's a good player, actually, Cameron Bruce. Right. So... Nesbitt's gone to gone out the door. Pogba's signed a new contract, which is good. That's too much. It's too big of a wage, guys. I'm not paying that. Towards this, Cameron Bruce will end up being a star player for us. Uh, we'll see. Right, nobody wants Redmond, so I'm just going to terminate his contract. Same with you, nobody wants you, so I'm going to terminate your contract. Yep, yep, that's good. Nice and easy. He did alright, Redmond, and that when he was called upon, but uh, I just think we've got better options now. Yeah, right, when this, just going to go for another day and then I'm going to call it a day on this episode and then next episode will be the continuation of the transfer window. Uh, right, next bit, yeah. Did I say in who did I sign? Gary Forrest. Oh yeah, he's a good young player he was. So I'm going to send him out on loan. Uh, I don't know why I signed him. I think my DOF signed him. Uh, yeah, we'll probably try and sign him. Right, let's just skip one more day. Oh, excellent. We've managed to sign 
Cameron Bruce. Good, talented young player, Scottish player, probably going to end up playing for Scotland. So on the on the fullback side of things, we've got two potential Scotland international players. Is the Scotland job available? I keep forgetting to look at this. Uh, bloody hell, some big jobs now. Inter, Juventus. Um, no. We'll just uh, keep an eye on that at some point. I would potentially take over the Scotland job. Um, but obviously only if, I, if I'm able to be Rafe Rovers manager as well. So yeah. Right, on that note. I'm going to call it a day for this episode. Uh, thank you everyone for watching and I'll be back tomorrow. Enjoy your weekend. All the best. Bye.